Hello children, uh, my name is Matthew and today I've been asked to share uh, a little Bible verse with you today. But before I do, I have a box with me. Would anybody like to see what's inside the box? Yeah? Okay, let's take a look and see. Inside this box, I have a piece of jewellery. Can anybody guess what this is made of? Okay, maybe. Okay. Anybody else? That's right. It's made of silver. And today, this morning, I'm going to share a little Bible verse that talks about silver. It's found in the book of Malachi. Has anybody heard of the book of Malachi before? Okay, maybe some of you. Okay, that's good. Now here's the big one. Does anybody know where the book of Malachi is found? Now it's either found in the Old Testament or New Testament. What do you think? That's right. It's found in the Old Testament. And it's the last book in the Bible. And we're actually studying it as a church last year. You may have remembered. So this morning we're going to look at Malachi chapter 3 and verse 3. But we're only going to look at the start of it. The first verse. Um, the first part of the verse. So it says in verse 3, He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And it's talking about God. So God will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. Hmm. That reminds me of a story. That was in a situation a little bit like this, where the children were all sitting around and they're reading the Bible and they're reading this particular passage. And whenever it came to that verse, one of the children thought to themselves, I wonder what that verse means, that God would sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. So they went home that night to the household, went home and as they talked about the verse, somebody said, I think they're talking about a silversmith. So that was before the internet. So the child went and they brought out a big old book like this one, they blew off the dust, shook it off, and they looked inside, and they looked at all the shops and businesses that were close by, trying to find a silversmith. And once they found one, they thought, do you know what, I'm going to go to that shop tomorrow, and I'm going to find out how they make silver. So the next day, they went to the shop, and they asked the, the silversmith, I just wanted to ask, how do, you, how do you make silver? So the silversmith says, come on in. Come on into the back here. And they had a roaring fire, just like this one. And he said, do you know what you do? You get a piece of silver and you bring it over to the fire, to the hottest part. And in the hottest part of the flame, he says, you know the way you see bubbles that come to the surface in water? He says, it's a little bit like that. And as the bubbles come to the surface, you wipe away all those impurities. And as you hold it over the hottest part of the flame, all the bad stuff comes to the surface in that metal, and then you wipe it clean. And you just keep doing that again and again. So the child thought to himself, do you just leave the silver in the fire? And the silver said, no, 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 you couldn't do that. Because if you left it in the fire, it would just get damaged. It would be ruined. You can't do that. So the child thought, do you know what, that makes sense. So as the child was leaving, the turn around and said to the silversmith, well, how do you know whenever the silver is ready, whenever it's done? And the silversmith smiled and he said, well, that's easy. He says, whenever you bring it over to the, the, the flame, the hottest part, and all the impurities are wiped away, he says, and I can see my face in it. He says, I know it's finished. So as that child was leaving, they were thinking about that verse again, that God would sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And they thought, do you know what, that makes sense. Because just as the silver is put into that fire, and it's quite uncomfortable and it's difficult, and the silversmith wipes those things away until he can see his face in it, it's like us in life. I'll give you an example. Maybe during lockdown, you felt that there were places that you couldn't go. There's people that you couldn't see, friends that you couldn't see maybe. 
and that made you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Just like that silver in the fire. But you know what? As you endured it and as you waited, that produced a thing called patience, which is a good thing. And God, if you are a Christian, what this verse is saying that if you're a Christian, life will undoubtedly bring about circumstances that make you feel just that little bit uncomfortable, like that silver in the fire. But God, like the silversmith, God is with you during those experiences. And he makes sure that you don't get damaged. And during those experiences, there are things that he'll take away. And then you're left with things like patience, which is a good thing. Notice that I said, if you are a Christian. Now, some of you may know that you're a Christian, which is a, a good thing. But the Bible says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. And that means becoming a Christian. And if you're asking yourself that question, am I a Christian? And you're not sure. Maybe you need to talk to somebody within your household. Because... Just like the silversmith held that over the fire, wiping away.